Amen. Now within this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to shoot on NBA 2K24 with every build, every height, every rating, every play style in 2K24 effortless. So send this to a homie who can't shoot. I know you know somebody. I shoot 75% from three. I'm a god. You could trust young Swan. Now before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 287k.3. We are 10 subscribers away. Now this is for if your big got a little bit of midi or three point on them. Now if you even have even lower, I got jump shots for that too. I really like for the bigs to have at least an A minus kinda. And also, you can tweak this jump shot. And I'm gonna show y'all alternate reality versions of these hoes. Now Andre Drummer, it's for if you got very low midi and three point, you should not have ratings this low as a big guys. The worse you are, the higher your ratings need to be, okay? Understand that. Um, this jump shot does have a big green window, but it's like, you know, it's, it's pretty decent. You know, if you got low ratings, mess with this, okay? This is the one for you if you got lower ratings. Pretty is decent-ish, okay? You can really hit with this hoe. Here's another alternate reality, okay? Different versions, a little bit more speed on it. You know, less release height. But look, you only need a 67, you know? You feel me? And guys, guys, stop making inside centers. If you're not a cheeser, do not make an inside, okay? If you don't know how to stand and dunk cheese, stop making insides. This is a new era in real basketball and in the game, dog, okay? If you don't know how to cheese, you are holding back your whole team, guys, okay? Please, I, I'm the greatest. Document it. Trust your boy. Now, here goes another alternate reality of the drummer. You know, if you want a little bit even more speed, but lower release height, you know? And here's another alternate reality for the little Eric. If you want to shoot over those a little more frequently, you got to have the 85, though. You feel me? Here's another alternate reality of the young Eric. This is for if you got, you know, the 86, okay? I hear some people don't like the Duncan release. If you don't like that, you could put the uh, Joe Kick. You know, but you won't have as good ratings. Isaac is another butter, big man, jump shot thing. Again, if you don't like the Duncan release, you could put Joe Kick on it, but you won't have as good ratings and uh, as good height and speed. But that that's an 82 right here, this whole butter too. Now the KD is for you got stupid high, okay? KD, I like this one too. It's probably my favorite one, but as you see, you got to have a... Now look. I got a shorter wingspan on this build, and it doesn't feel like the T-Mac that I have on certain other builds. So what I did is make a slower alternate reality, and, I, and I'm liking it. I might like it on this build than, than other versions. I'm going to show you all some other ones too, but this is the best jump shot in the game. Who I don't care what no one else says. Best jump shot in the game besides Patty Mills, and you got to be a certain rank to even. 6'6 so six, six plus. Rock this. I don't care what nobody says, da, 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 bro. If you not shooting 75%, bro, just just come come to, come to the light side. Get with the times, my boy. You here to have fun, <laughs> not be unique. A lot of y'all, you listen too much to what people say. Be unique. Make your own build. Make your own jumper. Your own play. Bro, stop. Find one that fits your play style that's already been researched by some geek nerd and rock with it, dog. You're not special. If you were special, you would be special <laughs> and you would already know. But you're not going to find something that no one else hasn't, guys. Like, get with it. You you barely play this whole or you're not very nice. A lot of people think they're they're so him. You're not him, bro. You know, rock with what someone else's research and just rock with it, bro. You feel me? Like and pick what fits you in between that. Try and come up with stuff yourself. It's, you're not him, bro. <laughs> a lot of y'all, y'all be wasting y'all money, wasting your time, you ruining your fun. Come on, dog. Y'all think y'all know more than modded controllers, test, no life geek nerds that's been no life geek nerds every year could have 101% in the park, 90 plus in the park, or, or just destroy stage comp, do all type of crazy dribble. You don't. You don't, bro. Come on, guys. We have to know ourselves. That is the key to evolution. Here's personally one of my favorite jump shots. The T Mac, T Mac, best base in the game. Okay, if you get the 87 plus, just rock the T Mac, my boy. Save your life. 
Here's another version with the um, higher release height, okay? It's between that and this that I'll be using. Now, firstly, this jump shot right here. This is the best jump shot when you don't got T-Mac for every build, okay? Poppers, yes. For y'all that's not over 6'10", this is your jump shot, dog. Okay, I play with y'all. I be mi seeing y'all miss and all that. You be using JT or Scotty or whatever the hell you use it. This is the one. This is the one. It's better than all of them. I'm telling you, I tried all of them. When I tried this hoe, baby T-Mac, it's just so much easier to hit effortlessly, okay? This is the lifesaver that y'all need to be telling everyone else to use. Here is the best guard jump shot when you're 6'5 and under. Okay, you shoot over people, people saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. It's one of the uh, reps, so you gotta play the game a lot. If you don't have this base, just put. Now look, for guards, this is your T-Mac, okay? You struggle, you could change your uh, releases, you can't get this hoe. I don't know why you having a guard that I don't know, bro, but if you can't use Curry, if you ain't got Patty Mills, use this jump shot. If y'all wanna see how to glitch Patty Mills and T-Mac on all your builds, I dropped a video, you know, check it out, my boy. But yeah, this is easier to shoot with than uh, Curry, maybe? Here's the Curry jumper, man. You know it's faster. When you can't use shots, tick them down, y'all. You know, you could tick this hole down like this, man. I ain't even gonna hold you. Firstly, before we get into the jump shot, did some more research, right? There are a lot of people say you gotta be plugged in, right? Now there are videos saying both opposite things where you could be wireless or plugged in. Some videos they're saying wireless Bluetooth gives you the best connection and some is saying wired gives you the best connection. Sometimes with it being wired, some people saying it gives you a delay. Either way, you test it out, whatever. Either way, when you play the game, you have to stay consistent with how you play. Either play wireless or plugged in, okay? And test each one. Do your research, man, right? I, I personally play wirelessly. I feel like that gives me the best connection and I feel more like I can react better than plugged in. So yeah, get all your hot spots, dog. If you really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me, thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay. And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over on the street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay. This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots. And they're going to play and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here, look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI magician, bro. Are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game, too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You want to max this hoe out. You want to max out Mini Magician. You really want to max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges, 
change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like, when you play with, without this, and then compare to with this, it's completely different, bro. That catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play, and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83 point build, right? Look, space creator, max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you wanna max this hoe out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this. The the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying and broken, bro. It's, it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall, like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, brother. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear is old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. Okay, um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? 
very important your gatorade is going to help you shoot you, you see how they everything in the game is designed for you to be in a vc deficit we are basically paying to play the game <laughs> y'all ain't never thought about that huh? now one more thing in every 2k people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay you could turn off your shot feedback you could turn off everything if you like if you feel like stuff is really bothering you if you're lag delayed you turn all this off it could help i'm gonna keep it on but they say you turn all this off you know they be doing this in every 2k like the stage guys i don't know if it help or don't the ball trail they turn it all off if you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out this is something you could hey y'all click on this video on the screen but well, hey hey here we go again Talking this for witness, hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.